Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us back to the Caverns of Time, where we are in the Old Hillsbrad foothills. Now, I have made a first video on this place, and it did not go so well, <laughs> as I kept getting stuck and running into boundary walls, which sucks. But I am a little more prepared now this video, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot more out of bounds what's way out here and show you hopefully uh, some more cooler stuff to look at. Now, as you may know, it is dark out. Just like the old video, I have the inky black potion on because it disguises the fog of war. If you come way too far out of the bounds, the fog of war will touch you and uh, that's it. You can't. It will distract you and it will uh, take you away from the scenery. So you have to drink an inky black potion to get rid of it. Now where we are is we are officially in Silver Pine Forest. I had said tr um, Trisfall Glades last video on accident. <laughs> so we're actually in Silver Pine Forest. And uh, we had broke out of bounds right over here with one of my toys, which is the uh, skinny pillow and also the soft purple pillow. So by the way, another credit goes to hero i know i thank him a lot in most of my videos and uh hero he's just he's just the guy man he always breaking out of stuff and oh be like quick so thank you hero again for this video and i'm gonna be showing you guys around uh silver pine forest so let's go explore as we're already out now we may run into another wall i've never been out here yet i'm hoping not we got past the boundary walls over here so i'm praying that if we go this way we should be fine now what's really cool coming out here is you can see a lot of the original lamps are still on the pathway. And a lot of the homes here are actually still intact. Now I wish that we could uh, take off the inky black potion, but we can't because it's going to bring back the fog of war, unfortunately. So what we're going to have to do is just explore with the inky black potion. So let's go take a look around. Now as we come down the path here, we're actually going to be taking a look at the pumpkin farm with the little pumpkin house here going into this home. There is a campfire and there is a uh i guess you could say uh rafters or there's uh i don't know what you call that there's a um up above place in a house here now let's go take a look at the town hall back here it's cool seeing a lot of the original silver pine forest from vanilla wow that you don't normally get to see anymore and it looks like town hall and everything is still intact so let's go take a look there's actually nothing inside of here, as you can see. Very empty. And if we make our way back out this way, there's actually a home right next door on the right here. So we can go take a look. Brings back a lot of nostalgia here. Now it does change the music. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So that's pretty cool. It's like we're in Dustwood. We're going to mount back up and we're going to head back out this way. So let's go take a look around out here. Now what's cool is you do see some old school windmills out here from the original vanilla silver pine forest. Which is pretty awesome. You don't really see those models anymore in the game. They are broken and undeadish. And there is another home back over here that you can go fully in. Now we're not going to go fully explore the home because it's very similar to the one we already explored. And if you come out this way, you do get the edge of the world. So be careful. But there is water out here, to be fair. So let's head out this way, and let's go take a look back into the uh, town. I do like the music out here. It doesn't really fit the whole spooky village theme, but it works. And as you can tell, we're nowhere on the map because we're way up here. Now what's cool about this is the torches and everything are still lit out here, and even the candles up on the chandelier. Well, everything's still intact here. But there's nothing actually in these homes, which makes it a little more creepy. 
Oh, and you can tell I'm actually not my regular demon hunter form here. I'm actually using the uh, coin of many faces, the toy. Because either way, if I was playing a night elf, it would still disguise me as a human. So I thought, uh, why not just be disguised as something else? So let's go farther into Silver Pine Forest and let's go see what we can find here. Now what's cool back here is you can actually see a whole murloc village that's still intact, but there's no water, obviously. And you can see fishes swimming around with no water in the lake, which is really cool. Then we got some junk underneath the so-called water back here. Let's keep going farther and see what we can find. As we make our way out this way, there is an uh, abandoned castle up here. And everything is still on, which this is a cool vibe out here. Let's go take a look inside of here. It's so amazing to me that Blizzard keeps so much outside of bounds that you're never supposed to see. And you can actually come out here and turn around and see the whole place from behind. So this is a cool look. But you can go inside and all the way up. And there's still a fireplace, and you can actually sit in these chairs as well. Let's go up to the very top. Let's go up on top of the roof here, and we can see a cool view. Of silver pine and the water out here. Now unfortunately like I said. I wish that we could explore without the inky black potion. But we can't. And these homes are rendered. As well you can walk inside of them. And same with this. Blacksmith place over here. And the. Horse stable as well. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? We got to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> it's like some undead dude stuck in the mud. That's hilarious. But remember, this is out of bounds and this is stuff you're never supposed to see. Unless you play, obviously, Classic WoW. But it's cool to see Classic WoW stuff in retail. As you can tell, there's no water out here, because normally in Silver Pine Forest, um, I'm going to go back out here on the map, you can see that there's supposed to be water right here, so this is also supposed to be Fenris Isle, normally. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually supposed to be Dalaran Crater right here, but no longer rendered in the game, even in Classic. So you can see Dalaran Crater up close without it actually being Dalaran Crater and it's covered up.
All right, let's go make our way up into Alterac Valley. Okay, we just clipped into the original vanilla caverns of time. I don't know what's going on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that is very interesting. <laughs> okay, we will come back to see that. That was cool. Let's go take a look back here first. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely going to be making a separate video on that because there's going to be a lot to explore down there. That was really cool. So we're up here in Alterac Valley, and I want to go see what's actually back here. Because there's so much to explore. A lot of Alteric Valley is still in place. You can see both caves, but not rendered. They're snowed in. But if you come back here, you can see the whole town of Alteric is actually still here. And we're not going to go explore the building because it's going to be the same one that we saw earlier on Fenris Isle. So, not going to go walk through there. It's going to be the same model. But the church is still intact out here. And it does recognize where we jump into a building with our mount. We are officially in the edge of the world again. Well, let's make our way back up this way. And let's go take a look up here. It's cool to see all the vanilla classic stuff still intact. Even in retail. We're going to keep making our way out this way. Man, this map is huge. And there is a lot to explore. More than I thought there would be. It's really cool that they kept a lot of this stuff. Wow, even a lot of the western and eastern playlands coming up still out here. That's pretty amazing to me.
Whoa. Now that is really cool. They kept the original statue with all its glory out here. Woo. Talk about screenshot worthy. We're going to get another screen capture here. All right, everyone, we're going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. Um, this is a really cool shot right here to end the video on. Love this statue here. If you haven't explored outside of uh, the old Hillsbrad foothills, I definitely encourage you. There's a lot out here to explore. And I'm going to be making a third video on the original Caverns of Time. So, as always, my name is Nathan. Take care.